morning guys welcome back so today I kind of thought I would show you another kind of meal prep grocery shop um, with me because I understand that I have a really low grocery budget now something you guys should know is I do normally have a meal to two meals a week um, with my grandparents or my aunt and uncle or something like that and I don't pay for that meal so why I say one to two is because sometimes I'm gonna say most of the time I take home leftovers and it is my lunch for the next day so that is something to note is that uh, one to two meals of my week are with my grandparents and then obviously if I go out of town then I normally do not purchase any food that I eat that weekend every once in a while I do but normally I'm not the one buying the food um, if I'm with my grandparents or my parents or wherever I am normally they're paying for the food um, so that is something to note um, another reason that might help me keep my grocery bill lower um, but normally I have like leftovers in the fridge when I leave so I am able to fix food so that's just something to keep in mind but I thought I'd go ahead and make my grocery list with you guys I'm gonna go to church and then I will go grocery shopping and that's kind of a time for me to look at some things um, and just kind of I, I don't really have anyone talking to me. I mean, obviously, if someone comes up and talks to me or makes comments, like, I'm going to respond. But that's kind of my time away from, like, my phone and anything else. Sometimes I do put my grocery list on my phone, but that's all I use it for. Um, and so that's kind of my time. So I'm not going to film anything while I'm there. But then I will come back and kind of go over what I got. Um, because normally there are one to two items that weren't on my list that... Um, weren't there or weren't like something that I thought about that I needed or um, for instance like the middle section because I shop at all these normally has like bathroom stuff or something like that and especially since my roommate just moved out um, I need a few things so if I find those things I will buy them but I'm not going to have them on my list because I'm not sure they're there also I'm sorry about my voice but I am losing my voice and so it just sounds really weird so one of the first things that I know that I need is um, salt. Um, I have a salt shaker um, and we just refill it. Um, my roommate had some salt and she took it and then the salt that I had is almost completely gone and because it's something that I noticed I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it now and have like I think there's like that much left so it'll last me like a few a couple months maybe but I really just want to get it out of the way so I don't have to think about it later um, so I've got my pen and notepad here so salt will be the first item that I'm purchasing another item that I don't really use that often um, is sugar but when I need it, it's not something that I really have on a grocery list. It's just kind of one of those staples that I kind of have in the kitchen. Um, my roommate was the one that baked a lot, so she had all the sugar. Um, and so I need sugar. So I will be buying a thing of sugar and also flour. Um, again, my roommate baking a lot. She had it, not me. So it was kind of one of those items that we shared. So I'm going to be getting some of that. Those two items right there are really based on the price because I can't think of any reason I need them this week, um, but I'd really like to get them if possible. So those are on my list of as kind of staples that um, I don't have that my roommate had. Um, so I'm going to go around in the kitchen and when I come back, I will tell you what meals I've decided to cook and what else I need to purchase. Okay, guys, so I am back. I am just, I know that it hasn't been any time for you. It's been about 10 minutes for me. Um, and I have finished making my grocery list. Um, so a lot of them aren't really full meal things. And I'll tell you the meals that I am going to make with this stuff. Obviously, I've already told you I have salt, sugar, flour. I need eggs. I, I love having boiled eggs. In the morning, they're easy to take to work with me. Um, and so I only have four eggs left, so I'm going to buy more eggs. Chocolate chips. I don't buy chocolate bars, but when I have a sweet tooth, I love eating chocolate chips. And then if I decide to bake something or make something with 
chocolate then I already have the chocolate chips on hand so I've run out of chocolate chips like a month and a half ago and I just never repurchased them um, butter I buy stick butter um, and we do I do keep extra on hand I try to keep two or three boxes on hand that each have four sticks in them um, and I just keep them in the freezer and have one out um, we are down on those um, I think we only have one box left so I'm going to pick up a box of butter um, peanut butter, um, again, sometimes instead of buying like Reese's, I just uh, take a scoop of peanut butter and put some chocolate chips on it. Also, peanut butter sandwiches, sometimes just a scoop of peanut butter, um, and I have less than a spoonful left of peanut butter, so I'll be getting that. Fruit, um, I did just say fruit, and the reason why is obviously I don't know what the fruit looks like at the grocery store today and also some fruit is on sale and I'm sometimes I know what it is sometimes I don't I don't today so I'm gonna go there and based on what I'm what's on sale and then if that is sounds good to me if I like that fruit I will be picking up some fruit um, veggies again kind of the same thing I don't know what veggies look like um, at the grocery store and what's on sale so that's kind of how I pick my fruit and veggies unless I'm really really craving something and I'm really not craving a specific fruit or vegetable right now so I'll just see what's on sale and then um, go from there shredded cheese so I'm Catholic and at Lent um, on Fridays we don't eat meat um, and so I have some tortillas left over. I'm going to make a cheese quesadilla, um, and so I need some more shredded cheese. Um, chicken nuggets is kind of like a quick staple that I keep on hand. I love all these chicken nuggets. It's one of my quick food go-tos, um, and so that is kind of, it saves money not doing quick food, but I do like to have a couple of different options on hand. So chicken nuggets is one that I really love and I don't have any right now. And then a, it's a spicy peanut sauce because I have an endless, and I mean endless amount of frozen uh, chicken breasts on hand. Um, the reason being my roommate left all of her frozen food with me and she didn't have a whole bunch but she did have a container of frozen chicken breast and then I had a container of frozen chicken breast and so there is a lot of frozen chicken breast so I'm not going to be buying any chicken breast for a while. I'm just going to go ahead and thaw some of that out and I believe I'm going to I'm going to use the spicy peanut sauce and I cook the chicken in it, I marinate it, and then I cook the chicken in it, and then I put it over a bed of rice, and it's really good. Sometimes I have a side of like carrots or green beans, again, depends on the veggies um, this time, but that's kind of what I'm planning meal-wise, is breakfast, the boiled eggs, the quesadillas on Friday, um, the chicken, like the spicy chicken over rice, and um, then... I do have other meals in there and that's kind of little things like I sometimes I have mac and cheese or a pasta um, I know that I have like a hero kit that I really like to use um, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it hero gyro whatever you pronounce it however you pronounce it um, but I have one of those kits that I have not seen in months at all these and I've always loved them um, so that is currently thawing in my fridge so the chicken and the heroes will be my two like big meals this week um, and then I have snacky foods I have some like pretzels left over and stuff like that so that is my plan for grocery shopping um, like I said we will see um, the prices of stuff on sale um, depending on fruits and veggies and a couple other things. So go ahead and um, just wait around because for you it will be like less than a second. For me it's going to be about two hours before I get to the grocery store um, and film this video. So I will tell you the prices I spent on the items um, and how much I spent total and you will see this in my every dollar budget but I thought it's kind of nice to show you what I got, how much I got and how much it cost me. So that's kind of what I'm going to be doing and I will see you guys later um, to see all of my yummy food. I'm so excited. Okay guys, I'm back from the grocery store, and so these are my bags right here. Um, I did go right at my budget of $50. It was $49.01. I'll check the receipt. Um, but 
I found some great stuff for not only this week, but next week. And let's see, um, yeah, next week's the end of March. So my budget will start over, but I think I can actually make some of it last even longer. So let me grab the bags and the receipt and then we can take a look. Okay, so I have two bags. Here is my receipt. Um, I was right, it was $49.01 for the total, including tax. Um, and then I got a few discounts, um, and that's kind of why I bought some of this stuff, um, just because it'll be great future meals. Um, so let me go ahead and go through it all. But first, I'm going to show you this. So when you walk in, this is the deals of the week. So these are valid through the 19th, so 13th through the 19th in March. Um, currently, it is uh, the 17th. So, um, you can see they have stuff like a family pack of chicken thighs is 79 cents a pound, which is amazing. A lot of the stuff that they had on sale was either stuff that I wouldn't eat or wasn't personally going for, um, and it was still pricey, and I was trying to be more, uh, do some cheaper items or things that, um, I already had, like, potatoes. I already had those. They were a really good deal, though. Um, but I did get uh, grapes, which were one nineteen a pound, and I got two things of eggs, which are $0.79 cents for a dozen. Um, and their eggs are really good. They last a long time. And then the other thing I get is when I'm walking out, I get this one because the insider is for next week's. So you can kind of see special stuff that they may have. This isn't normally like sale items. Um, they have, this is more of like their specialty items. And I just like to look because every once in a while they'll find something that you really like. Like I know I've bought like a yoga mat and stuff here before. So let me start. I'm going to go down the list. So it may take me a second to find stuff in here. So the first thing I got was, get a few other things out of the way. Um, sugar. It is four pounds of sugar, and this cost me one ninety five for four pounds of sugar. Um, I will probably use this through the rest of the year, if not longer. Um, again, I don't bake that often, but when I need the sugar, I need the sugar. So, sugar. Next is the flour. So this is five pounds of flour, and this was a dollar forty nine. Um, and I use flour more often than the sugar, but I still don't use it all that often. Um, then after that, we had the chicken nuggets, and the chicken nuggets were three seventy nine. So this is the third most expensive item I bought um, and <laughs> again this will get me through three or four meals um, it says about 11 servings but I don't normally have side stuff on the side so you know three or four meals um, I love the chicken nuggets but this is kind of one of my fast meals that I keep on hand um, then the next one is something that was not on my list but it's not something they have very often, and they had a really great deal on it, and so I can use this for an entire week's of meals um, when I make it, and that is corned beef uh, brisket. I love corned beef, um, and it I got it for $9.94. Um, it is almost three pounds of corned beef, and I really like the corned beef, so... Um, again, they don't have it all the time, so I'll just throw this in the slow cooker on a Sunday, and it can be my meal for an entire week. So I went ahead and bought that. Um, the next thing was carrots. Um, I tend to go back and forth between baby carrots and full-size carrots, just depending on if I'm feeling like I'm going to snack on them. I tend to go towards the baby carrots. And I go through, towards the full-size carrots um, if I'm going to cook with them, which I'm planning on cooking with them. But also, um, if one's on sale, I'll go towards that. The carrots were actually on sale. And I got this bag, which is two pounds of carrots, um, for $1.29. So that's a really good deal on carrots. 
so I went for the big ones versus the baby ones. Then I did get my chocolate chips. My chocolate chips were $1.89. Um, I go for the semi-sweet chocolate morsels um, because they're better to bake with, and I prefer these over the um, milk chocolate ones just because they don't melt as fast. So I got those. Um, next is another item that was off of my list, but I have potatoes and in my pantry, and so I decided so I can use up the potatoes, um, I was going to get chili with beans and um, put that on top of the potatoes to kind of make a meal out of it. Um, and this can was 99 cents. Normally their canned goods are really, really inexpensive and they're great. So the butter was $2.88 and like I said, there's four sticks of butter in here. So this will last me longer since my roommate's not here. I typically bought the butter um, for the house and so it will last me longer because there's not two of us using it. But this will go in the freezer because I already have one uh, set out. And the next item was another item that wasn't on my list. This is one of their specialty items. Um, so it's not something that's there all the time, which is why I bought it now um, versus being like, oh, that'll be in next month's budget. I went ahead and bought it now because they don't normally have this item. And that is this crab seafood salad. Um, I'm really intrigued to try this because I really love their potato salad, their chicken salad, their macaroni salad, like any of those. So I'm, I'm really excited because I love crab. So this was $2.99 and just to show you guys you can kind of see from like the already prepared food this and the chicken nuggets they're pretty expensive compared to just making this yourself or something like that but that is why I tend to go with the more whole foods and then making my own stuff so then I also got for fruit I got bananas um, I got there's only four just because I don't want to get a bunch and then not use it. So the bananas are 43 cents a pound um, is what they had the deal going on this week. So it, these were a pound 85. So they cost me, ready, 80 cents for four bananas. Um, they're great. They tend to last um, about the same the same length of time that any other bananas do. I know some people are like, all these produce goes bad faster or anything like that. I haven't seen that. Some of it lasts longer. Some of it lasts the same. I haven't seen anything that goes bad faster. So bananas, I only get four because they do go bad fast no matter where you have them. So um, I only get four because that's all I can eat. Sometimes I use them for smoothies. Um, then the other fruit that I buy was grapes and grapes were on sale for $1.19 a pound and these were um, $1.97 so these grapes cost me $2.34 and if you see me looking down my receipts down there so they cost me $2.34 and I normally split these up between five days and I these are my snack at work um, for all five days and then I have the Thai peanut sauce that was on my list um, this is what it looks like. It's a Thai peanut sauce. It's from Journey to Thailand. And I really like it because it's like a skillet meal. But what I do is I take half of it and use it to marinate the chicken and then cook the chicken in it. And then I use the other half of it um, since there's nothing that can't be eaten raw in this. I just uh, use it as a sauce um, on top of the rice and chicken afterwards. And this cost me $1.99, and this will be an entire week's meal as well. This will be my sauce and seasoning, and normally I have some left over that I can use for another week. Um, then I got this salt, and the salt was $0.49. Cents. Now I have to say I'm used to their, like, I'll show you what the old ones look like. This is great value, um, just because I didn't get it last time I was at Aldi's. I ran out, so I went ahead and got it at a different store. But this is what Aldi's used to look like, minus the great value. Obviously, it was their own brand. But it was in, like, this, like, cardboard 
thing with the metal lip top. I mean, this is the way I've always had it. Even growing up, this is this is the way the salt looked. Um, so it's kind of strange, I guess, um, because they now come in this. Unfortunately, um, it's a plastic case, which I guess is better to keep the salt at bay like it's not going to spill off the top but I didn't really have that big of a problem with it and so it's got the sprinkle and this and this is the way their salt comes now um so I'm not really a big fan of the fact that it's in a big and it's really thick plastic too and it doesn't say it's recyclable oh yes it does there it is recyclable um except it says that it is a cardboard container. If this is cardboard, this is the weirdest cardboard I've ever seen in my entire life. So I may have to look into this. So table salt, 49 cents. Sorry for going on that rant. I'm trying to figure some things out in my brain while I'm talking to you. Um, next, another item off my list. This is something they don't always have. Um, a more specialty item. Um, not crazy expensive. It's just something that they don't always have and something that I crave sometimes so when they have it I buy it even if I'm not craving it at that second because normally when I am craving it they don't have it so um, it is dill pickle chips and they're $1.79 um, if you're a person that likes like salt and vinegar chips or anything like that you'll like these so um, dill pickle chips I really like those they're $1.79 uh, then I got broccoli. Vegetable-wise, they had a few things on sale other than the carrots, but it wasn't anything that I really wanted. So the broccoli was not on sale, but it was $1.69 for this. Um, they did have bigger broccoli crowns, but I didn't want to waste food because I knew it would go bad and I wouldn't use all of it. So I got the broccoli, and then... My roommate had a lot of seasonings. We kind of combined our seasonings, so she took some of hers away, and one of them was chili powder, and so they actually did have a sale on this one because they're changing over either the brands or the packaging that they're doing, so this was on sale, and this was $1.19, uh, and I will definitely not use this uh, all up very fast, so, but I do use it sometimes in like my pretzels or in like some of my other dishes that I use. Um, then another thing that I forgot to add on my grocery list that my roommate um, did have, I believe, and then we ran out and I just never replaced it. And that is honey. And there's many types of honey there. Um, I went with the cheapest kind and this is $4.99. So this was the second most expensive item that I have, but this is the like largest honey. This is a full pound of honey, um, and I use it to sweeten like my teas, um, some of like when I make um, like Thai dishes or Chinese dishes, I like to sweeten it with honey. Um, so yeah, $4.99. Uh, peanut butter right here was $1.49 and I was completely shocked they had this huge thing of peanut butter and normally you can go well it's more so I bet it's cheaper because it's in one container actually that is not correct per ounce the other one was seven cents more an ounce to get the larger one and what I like about all these is you can it tells you um how many cents per ounce it is so you can compare like since there's multiple peanut butters you can be like okay that one says it's 27 cents an ounce this one says it's 20 cents an ounce this one says it's five cents an ounce that's not what the actual numbers are that's just an example but um yeah so creamy peanut butter was a dollar 49 eggs were 79 cents and i got two eggs um two dozen eggs right here um i'm not going to use two dozen this week but they normally for me at least last three four weeks um they're best by april 26th yeah so they last several weeks so april 26th is my birthday so they expire on my birthday um but i will definitely use these before then but i have no problem getting them they had a limit on three but i can only store two in my fridge 
So $0.79 cents a piece. And then I also bought salsa because after I was getting ready to leave, after I turned the camera off, I opened my fridge to put my water in there. And I realized that my salsa was almost gone. Um, and I love salsa um, on so much, especially since I'm making those quesadillas. So right here, salsa was one eighty nine. So those are that's all the food I bought for my Aldi's haul. I think that to get all of this for forty nine dollars compared to any other store is amazing. And I will try and show you a video later on on how I prep all of this food. Um, but this is definitely the way to go. Um, for saving monies for me is all these at least where I live um, and I think their food's amazing they have great deals and um, definitely some unique stuff that you don't find anywhere else um, or you can't normally if you're on a budget get it so um, I hope you guys like this video I know that it's kind of weird um, and it's everywhere but you know there was two hours in between and everything else so like um, and comment if you want to see more videos like this and um, if you have any questions maybe comment and make sure to subscribe for more content like this and I will see you guys next time. Bye!